So we're gonna run through some of these wines. And if you're at home sheltering in place as well, I'm sure you would love to get a package of our latest club shipment. We have a lot of wine, so we're going to start with a few right now and Andy's gonna come later and juice you to some more. Dry Riesling, Greenwood Ridge, Mariah, Sauvignon Blanc, super high elevation, uh, organic, biodynamic, filigree farms, Pinot Gris, and then a few Chardonnays, all different. Chardonnay is so special. So we have our perfectly aged, 100% new French oak Chardonnay from Central Coast. And then we have our Chardonnay Mariah, also from the same vineyard, high, high up there, Mountain View Road. And then a really fun one this year, we made a slightly sparkling Chardonnay. It's a little frisant. So um, this is reminiscent of what you might find in a Blanc de Blanc. It's our rendition of a uh, super tasty um, white that you get to have with summertime fun. So we have our white wine club. Andy, which one would you like to taste today for everybody? And tell Let's them about. Let's try the Sauvignon Blanc Mariah. Sauvignon Blanc Mariah. And <laughs> we have this funky awesome Coravin that we love to use in our tasting room. I will pour for you, sir. Thank you. Tasting shall commence. I like to swirl it around. Andy, tell us about Mariah. Uh, yeah, nice and citrusy, spicy. A little bit of mouthfeel from the barrel age. What's it aged in? Neutral French oak barrels. A uh, big one or a small one? Uh, a whole bunch of little ones. Little, small, but delicious neutral oak barrels. All French? 100% French, 100% neutral. All right, on to the next one. Enjoy. Yum. <laughs> Uh, let's try that Riesling. Riesling time. And then we'll move on to another club. We have red club, white club, all sorts of clubs for you to join. So tell me about our dry Riesling from Greenwood Ridge. Greenwood Ridge is right next door to us, one of our closest vineyards. Um, Which way is Greenwood Ridge? Right over there. All Thank right. you for asking. <laughs> uh, note that I rinsed with the next wine. If ever you're rinsing with water, you're allowed to have a little bit of water at the same time, but then you rinse with whatever the wine is you're about to have next. Why do we do that, darling? So that it tastes more like wine, less like water. Fair enough. We're in, turning water into in wine. In French, they call that vinsage. It's a cross between vin and rinsage. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> House palate, maybe? <laughs> it's uh, minerally and a little bit of petrol. Uh, rich mouthfeel, long, creamy, delicious. Not too sweet, but a little hint to cover up the Rieslingness. There's always a reason to Riesling, I like to say. If you haven't tried Riesling lately, you should definitely give yourself the honor of trying it. There's lots of different kinds all across the sweetness levels and dryness level. This is our 2014 dry Riesling. Andy, why do we like to age our wines? Because they taste better as they get older. Even the whites? Especially the whites. There you go. But don't take our word for it. You can go ahead and try our Riesling, order it online, just the bottle now, or join our club and we will ship it to you. Our April shipment is coming out next week. Bee Hunter Wine Club. What do we have in here? So we've got six wines here, three whites, three reds. Um, we have a Pinot Gris uh, from Filigree Farm. Uh, biodynamic, organic, delicious. Uh, we have a rosé from Mendocino County. Uh, it's a combination of Docker Hill Vineyard and Mariah Vineyard. Uh, we also have a slightly sparkling Chardonnay uh, from Mendocino County, organically grown grapes uh, with just a little bit of sparkle. Uh, and then the three reds are all Pinot Noir. We have our Pinot Noir Mendocino, uh, it's mostly from uh, local vineyards on the ridge with a couple of valley vineyards mixed in. And then we Mendo have, Blendo. And then we have two um, Compshi Pinot Noirs. We have Oppenlander and we have Docker Hill. Let's try the Mendocino Pinot Noir. Mendo Blendo, of course. That's what I thought I heard you say. Mendocino Wait, Pinot. what's that strange thing you have in it? Our Coravin? Yeah, what's that? Oh, well, we love our Coravin because it allows us to pour just a little bit from each bottle. Uh, for those of you listening from the Coravin uh, factory, 
<laughs> Let us continue to sell these for you because everybody asks and we love to tell them all about it. It has some fun little cartridges in here and it replaces whatever it is that we take out of the bottle with gas so that it preserves the bottle for a long, long time. Mm. How about the wine? Mmm, spicy red fruit, classic example of cool climate Pinot Noir. Uh, rich, nice tannin structure, uh, hint of oak. I'll we'll use about 25% new French oak on this one. Yeah, it's a really nice expression. It still has a little bit tight, um, but as we get towards summer, it's really gonna open up with uh, softer tannins and delicious wine right now. If you guys wanna find more information about these wines, we are going to have full descriptions online, and that's www.beehunterwine.com. Join our Bee Hunter Wine Club if you would like to age your wines, this is a teeny tiny little baby, 2017. We have right next to it our 2013 Open Liner, which is perfectly aged. So go ahead and um, try that one. Try our 2014 Docker Hill. Try them all, but then get a lot of the 2017 and anything that is young right now and store it in your cellars. Um, and let us know whenever you have a nice celebration how it ages with time. Uh, and like anything in life, uh, if it can stand the test of time, um, it always gets better and better. Just like our love. Right, baby? Aww. Aww. <laughs>
four of them are right along this Mendocino Ridge appellation. Uh, and then we have a couple barrels um, from down in Valley Fruit. A little bit, a little bit spicier on the ridge, a little more wind, uh, a little bit cheerier tans. And Mendocino Ridge is a really awesome appellation because it's only what pops up over the cloud lines, uh, 1,200 feet above sea level. That's right, 1,200 feet. <laughs> <laughs> um, the highest um, of those is Signal Ridge, which is where we're filming from. Um, if you keep going past our house, about seven miles up the road, uh, you get to the top, 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 and that's Signal Ridge Vineyard. Uh, it was planted by Roger, oh, probably 15 years ago, and it's producing some really nice fruit, but super windy, um, steep, high elevation, uh, really structured wines. And some fantastic people that are helping those wines uh, come to fruition. The people that are working on the vineyards, especially up there at the highest height of Signal Ridge Road, we love you. You know who you are. <laughs> So all of our Pinot Noirs are coastal, um, cool climate, so they have a similar density of flavor, um, but also a lightness. Um, are they salty? No, they're not salty. Okay. But pretzels are salty, and they're delicious <laughs> with Pinot Noir. Soft pretzels, like from my <laughs> folks back from Philadelphia? Oh, that's right, but skip the mustard if you're drinking Pinot Noir, because mustard and Pinot Noir is not really a good pairing. But Indian food with turmeric is especially if it's Riesling that you're drinking. Fair enough. So we will tell you all about our Riesling for our white wine club. This has been our Pinot Noir club. Uh, keep in mind, you can always add a Magnum club to any of the clubs. We have our Anderson Valley, which one are you? Anderson Valley 2016 in a Magnum as well. We have our red wine club. When I first started enjoying wine, uh, red wine was the only wine I really wanted to have, and I know many of you share my sentiments. Come, say hi. hi. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's uh, it's got that je ne sais quoi. Wait, I need the wait. Hold on. The je ne sais quoi. Uh, uh, how do you say uh, uh, je ne sais quoi? Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, there stand up. <laughs> uh, cheers. 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 Cheers, Cheers to you for letting us be here. So this is the 2013, aged just a little bit uh, more. Do you want your own? Let's give you your own, and then we can do a side-by-side -side later. That's good. Okay, there you are. So, 2013. Okay. Ooh, Very pretty. Look at that. So this is Oppenlander from Kamshi, uh, deep in the woods mm -hmm. of Kamshi. Mm -hmm. And you get that forest flora, fresh cut mushroom, some nice red fruit. Mm. If you don't know where Kamchi is yet, it's we, one way. of our most special places we like to go uh, to, or hot springs. Um, oh, that's very tasty. <laughs> that's lovely. You too, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> the winemaker's job is, is never done. Fair <laughs> enough. All right. Here's your test. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Carpaccio. Carpaccio, yum. I could go for some mm, carpaccio some right now. Cracked black pepper, raw, raw beef, a little olive oil. Wow, these it's are really, really good. Really rich flavor. Really deep. Mm, that's good. It's got some spice to it. It does have that. That was 2015 vintage. with lots of small berries. Lots mm. of small berries. And so the tannin from the skin was a little bit denser that year and you get a little bit more of that grippiness. Dense tannins from the skins and very grippy. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> uh, moving right along, shall we do, oh, Andy, your Grenache. Oh, my favorite. This one is also almost sold out, which is why we included it in a club shipment for our dis uh, distributors. We've already moved on to the 2016 vintage. We have just a few left, 2014, so get it while we have it. Ladies first. If anyone wants to know about bee hunting, it's a feminine brand. It really is for all my ladies. So a bee hunter is that elusive lady that you always want to get to know and capture, but just like Mother Nature, 
just like life, it's always kind of running and running and running, and so you always be hunting to find out. So you guys oh, now be always hunting be hunting for, I get it. for a delicious new flavor in your mouth. Ephemeral. Ephemeral, as Andy likes to say. Shall I rinse? Here you are. Uh, oh. <laughs> Watering the plants with Pinot. Painting the roses red. All right, here you are. Tell us about Ooh. Grenache, darling. Yes, Look I don't know anything about Grenache. Beautiful light color. A little bit of bricky in there with the age. Um, it's another light red wine. Um, everybody knows Pinot Noir, but um, fortunately Grenache is getting a little bit better recognition. Um, we have a classic cool, cool climate <laughs> style. Uh, it has spice, um, red fruit, a little bit of cassis. We made a lot of wines. We have Syrah, Zin, and JJ Cuvée. Okay. Okay. We're going to do all of them, it sounds like. Tell me about our 2013 Vivio Syrah. So the 2013 Vivio Syrah is one of our few wines from out of the Anderson Valley area. We get this from uh, down in uh, Sonoma County, um, Bennett Valley, which is a That's cool a climate yeah. for Sonoma County. Uh, it's on the backside of Sonoma Mountain up in a little volcanic cleft. Although technically it's not a volcano, so it's volcanic soil on top of a mountain that's not a volcano. Uh, okay. An old lava tube. Oh, yeah, exactly. There you go. <laughs> and uh, so it's, it's deep, deep red volcanic soils. Um, classic uh, soil for Syrah. And you get that expression of leather and cassis and spice. Um, and it's aging really nicely now. We had it three years in barrel. I smell cherry. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to our wine growers here. Joe, thank you so much for uh, sharing this awesome fruit with us. And Brody and his lovely uh, fiance, happy almost wedding day. We're really excited to have some of this um, flowing for you and your loved ones um, at your wedding. And now for our Fash Hours Infandel. Um, Fash Hour. Fash Hour. Fash Fash hour. hour. Yeah. So this is our Zinfandel. Zinfandel 2016 from Fash Hour. It's a classic expression of a Coastal Ridge Zin. Coastal Ridge Zin, classic. Bright acidity, sh sharp tannins for the first two years. So we leave it in barrel for almost four years before bottling. Four year barrel age. Almost. For your pleasure. Thank you for singing along. <laughs> <laughs> Spicy. Um, earthy. Earthy. A complete different expression of Zinfandel than Dry Creek. Um, great with food, bright acidity. Mm. I like mm. that. It's actually good. But what we like to do with Bee Hunter wines, um, we really like you to taste the place. So if you were to go walking through the vineyard, which um, stay tuned, we're going to do some <laughs> vineyard tastings soon too. When you go walking through the vineyard, you taste the grape. We want that to really be what you taste in the bottle. That's our goal. So yep. from, from grape to, to table. And right. last but not least, let's taste the JJ, JJ Cuvée. JJ, JJ, JJ. <laughs> ah, so JJ Cuvée, wow. 2017. Mm. It's Carignan, Grenache, and Merlot. The red-headed stepchildren of red grapes in Mendocino County. <laughs> 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 Too soon? We love redheads it just and means stepchildren. It put up with more pain. Right? It's true. So this one, 2017, is definitely an ager. Um, but part drink, of what we were... Na right now with spaghetti mm. and meatballs. Oh. Yeah. Yes. We were just Something discussing... Big. I mean, uh, I mean pasta bolognese. Yeah, there you go. No spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> oh. uh, but this has been a fantastic setting for a wine tasting. It's very lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> we like to make our uh, homemade wines and then make it available to you too. So Bee Hunter actually started as a hobby, as a, a home wine. Andy learned how to make wine um, at Navarro Vineyards and then from his father too. His father helped uh, bring this whole house into fruition and Andy was born here in the yard. So we take our homemade awesomeness and we bottle it and then we send it to you. Um, so what you're tasting here is really an expression of uh, our beautiful um, area and how we like to display our neighborhood best. All right, here we have our Magnum Club. Uh, we just are releasing Magnums now. 
Um, I've been releasing half magnums for years, but now we finally decided to do the full size magnums. Ha 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 ha. Applause, <laughs> laughter. Um, so we have our Anderson Valley Pinot Noir 2016 and our Chardonnay Mariah 2017. Both are going to be crowd pleasers and bigger is better. So they tell us. Do you want to taste? No, I don't think so. We should save these for a while. Oh, uh, well, it's true. If you do like aging wines, large format bottles are great to store in your cellar. However, we're well, kind of sheltering in place right now, right? So we might as well try them now and order more for our next large gathering. Okay. <laughs> Twist talk, your arm, right? Talk me right into it. Darling. <laughs> yes. Let's make it so they can see how beautiful it is. Oh, and you're using the Coravin. Yes. We just met Michael from Coravin in Florida, and he was super stoked that we used the Coravin so much in our tasting room. So, hi, Michael. Hi, Jacqueline. Thank you for being our bee hunter ambassadors down in sunshiny Florida. Mmm, nice and spicy. Mm. He said spicy. Mm, poached pear, rich, complex. That's a delicious wine. Good poached job. pear, rich and complex. Mmm, sounds like sounds some like of just... the best things in life, darling. <laughs> like love. <laughs> Whoa, he says. I think I, he likes it. I, but, mu I must have a house call because that's delicious. <laughs> wow. But like I said before, who knows, until you taste it yourself, we would love to have your feedback as well. We are absolutely in love with this Mariah Vineyard. Um, Dan and Vicki Dooling and his family, uh, their family, created this amazing uh, spot at the highest height and it's called Islands in the Sky. They made their own appellation, Mendocino Ridge. So you owe yourself to try this and soar among the clouds. Like the bird that just went by flapping its wings really loud. Uh, next, Anderson Valley. Not to be confused with Alexander Valley. <laughs> this is mostly Fash Hour Pinot Noir. Just right over the hill, right over there. Uh, we added a few barrels of some other vineyards, so we can't call it Fash Hour. We love you, Ann and Van. Uh, but it's tasting really good right now. I don't believe you. All right, why don't you pour me some? All right, I will rinse you first. And if you hear any kind of sounds around that isn't just us talking or Andy barely talking, whispering softly into his glass, it's because we have a working farm here. We have a working dog who wishes to be playing with us right now and uh, the four-wheeler. So welcome to our farm. Um, one day we hope to be able to invite you to it personally, but for now you get to witness it from the comfort of wherever it is you are right now. Tell me about the wine, babe. Please. Mm, red fruit. Dried flowers. Sweet fruit on the entry, nice spicy finish, long, mmm, yummy. <laughs>
On your, on your head? Up your head. Right next to us? On top of the tallest bottle. Uh, no, do it right there in the little in the little divot right there. Right here? Yep. All right, JJ. Behind. JJ. Get her. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to focus with the dog right there. Nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> Open lender. 13. Hey, oh, darling. We got something for you. <laughs> uh, huh? Oh, I thank you. That's very sweet. <laughs> and something for me. Of course. <laughs> we adorn ourselves here. You're so adorning. Uh -huh. All right.